What's up guys, I'm Ryan and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Salesforce playground in just a few easy steps. If you're not familiar with a Salesforce playground, basically it is a free sandbox that Salesforce provides to end users and developers to learn and uh, develop different packages on the platform. It's a great tool and a great way to get more familiar with Salesforce and try out different features and products. All right, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to the Trailhead website. I'm just gonna put Trailhead into my search browser and it's going to most likely be the first thing that comes up. All right, once you're at this part, if you don't already have a Trailhead account, you're going to want to go and follow the sign up button and fill out all the required fields and set up your account. If you already have a Trailhead account, go ahead and hover over the login button and you're going to click on Trailblazer account. You do not want to pick Salesforce or Marketing Cloud. Those will take you to different websites. So be sure you're picking Trailblazer account. Once you get to this screen, you're going to select the login option of your choice that you previously configured and take you into Trailhead. Great. Once you get to this screen, you're going to see a whole bunch of recommendations of different modules for you to try out. If you're not familiar with Trailhead, it is the learning platform that Salesforce has provided for free to both end users and developers to learn more about Salesforce products and features. Salesforce Trailhead, in my opinion, is one of the best things about working in the Salesforce ecosystem. They provide all these really well put together trainings for free and anyone can pick them up and do them. All right, but now we're gonna set up our playground. Next, you're going to go and hover over your profile and navigate to hands-on orgs. Once you get to this screen, you're going to see any previously set up playgrounds that you might have. I have a whole bunch as I've been doing, I've been doing lots of trailhead for a while now, but to set up a new playground, you're going to click this button and create a new playground. It's going to allow you to name it, whatever you want. It will also generate a default name here that you can just leave if you'd like, and then you can hit create. Once you hit create, you're gonna see up here that it is creating your new playground. In my experience, it does take quite a bit of time to actually set up the playground, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. So I recommend setting this and then going and doing something else and come back later when it's ready. It took a couple minutes, but now my playground is ready for use. From this point, you're going to go ahead and click launch. After it loads, you're going to see the home page for your Salesforce playground. It's going to welcome you and give you a little bit of information about how to use this playground. At this point, you are free to start developing or testing anything that you're interested in. It does give you the option to install a package, which just means you're going to install some pre-configured stuff from someone else's org. Um, and it also will have a tab for getting your login credentials so that if you wanted to, you could set up uh, API capabilities with this playground or just log in directly through the Salesforce homepage. All right. A couple of the things about Salesforce Playgrounds that are important to remember. There is a limit on how many playgrounds you can have. If you Google it, it'll tell you you can only have 10, but obviously you can have more than that. I think it's about 16 or 17 is when you actually hit the limit. Also important to remember is your Salesforce Playgrounds will uh, expire after a certain amount of inactivity on that playground. So. If you are developing something and you don't want to lose whatever you've built, be sure to keep that in mind and don't let your org expire. Once 
the org does expire, it will show up down here in the expired org list and it'll give you the option to clear it and that will open up some slots so you can have more playgrounds. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.